What's up guys, today I have a Wi-Fi battle for you guys and this is a Yugi match versus Sensational GP. His channel link will be down below so you can check him out. And before we begin, if you can hit that like button, that will be fantastic. As always, let's try to break the goal of 700 likes. So I'm using the same Hyper Offense team which I've used before and as you can see he's using a Sticky Web team. I have no Rapid Spinner or Defogger on this team so there is nothing I can do to prevent him from getting up his Sticky Web. So knowing this he's gonna lead off with his Galvantula as I'm gonna lead off with my Chandelure. I don't want him to go for the Thunder and possibly paralyze my Chandelure so I'm gonna switch out into my Nidoqueen Queen as he's gonna go for the Sticky Web and I'm gonna go for my Stealth Rocks which he's gonna predict and go into Slowbro. The reason why I say predict is because Slowbro cannot take two sludge waves coming from a modest life orb nido queen so i'm gonna go for my stealth rocks which will be breaking the focus sash of that galvantula and it will also ensure that his darmanitan will die to a sucker punch from my mega absol so i'm gonna switch out and go into my slow bro because it is my only switch in for his slow bro as i'm running hyper offense and this is a calm mind slow bro so i'm gonna go right for the calm mind as he's gonna switch out into his flourges honestly this wasn't a bad play because usually flourges can deal with Slowbro and Moonblast is a 3 hit KO but Flourges cannot beat a Calm Mind Slowbro 1v1 unless it's packing energy ball so I'm gonna go for the plus 1 side shock which does damage based on the opponent's defense and Flourges has pretty garbage defense so this side shock is gonna do a lot of damage as he's gonna go for the wish and uh, the next turn he's gonna predict me to predict his protect and that's why he's gonna go for the Moonblast but I have no reason to go for one more Calm Mind because he does have a Lilligant and a Galvantula on his team so I'm gonna go for the side shock which is easily gonna take him out which means that my Mega Absol can now wreck his team because this Flourdes was the only thing stopping my Mega Absol so now he's gonna bring in his Galvantula I cannot stay in so I'm gonna switch out and go into Manido Queen because I know that I can completely wall him unless he's carrying hidden far eyes and it does not look like he's carrying that so he's gonna switch out and go into his machamp as I'm gonna go for my sludge wave and it looks like this machamp is the salt first because it takes the sludge wave really well and it looked to me like it's a 2 hit KO so I'm gonna go for this sludge wave as he barely lives and goes for the ice punch and because Nidoqueen Queen is so bulky even ice punch plus bullet punch is not able to knock me out and I can just take him out with the sludge wave and this is the reason why I prefer using Nido Queen over Nido King on this team because of her bulk so he's gonna bring in his Lilligant as I'm gonna leave in my Nido Queen as a sleep fodder because she's pretty much useless and he's gonna put me to sleep and usually Lilligants carry hidden power rock or hidden power fire as their coverage move and I was figuring that if he has a Darmanitan on his team he probably does not have hidden power fire on this Lilligant so I'm gonna go into my hair cross hoping to live one hit and then kill this thing as he's gonna go for the quiver dance and then hit me up with this petal dance which is gonna do over half to my hair cross now hair cross is not a frail Pokemon by any means and that was a resisted hit but in any case I'm gonna take this thing out with the close combat if he had set up one more quiver dance he would have done massive damage to my team but now he's gonna bring in this Galvantula. I'm just gonna sack my Nidoqueen Queen because like I said it's pretty much useless and uh, he's gonna go for the Thunder and then he's gonna take me out with the Bug Buzz next turn which is gonna give me the free switch into my Chandelure. I don't have too many things on this team which can take a Thunder from this Galvantula but I'm gonna go into my Scarf Chandelure because of the Sticky Web it's gonna negate the boost from the Choice Scarf and he's gonna outspeed me and go for the Thunder and paralyze me. Luckily for me he does not get the full power on me and I'm able to go for the shadow ball which is gonna take him out and now he's gonna go into his darmanitan to revenge kill me and uh, he's basically forced to go for the rock slide because i do have flash fire he cannot go for the flare blitz and he's gonna take me out with the rock slide as uh, now i'm gonna bring in my absol to just clean up this game because uh, once this darmanitan has taken the stealth rocks damage which he has i will be able to knock him out with the sucker punch by mega evolving so i'm gonna mega evolve as he's gonna go into slow bro and uh, i end up going for the sucker punch on his darmanitan no real reason to over predict and uh, even if he tries to go for the slack off with the slow bro on my first knockoff uh, knockoff still does around 50% to a defensive slow bro and i still do have my choice banded hair cross which can just kill the slow bro in one hit he goes for the calm mind but he will not be able to take the second knockoff and this slow bro is gonna go down his last is his darmanitan which is also gonna go down to a sucker punch and that's gonna be the game hopefully you guys enjoyed it was a fast paced fun match and uh yeah stay tuned for more x and y and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching